The signs are all over Ford's light truck assembly plant in Norfolk. The message, a quality product equals job security. As Japanese imports continue to take a big chunk of U.S. consumers, the impact is felt in corporate bank accounts and on the unemployment line. Some 950 people are still laid off from the Norfolk plant. Most of them lost their jobs in January when an entire shift was eliminated. Although Ford officials are encouraged by an upturn in second quarter profits, operations manager Robert Renard doesn't think that shift will be reinstated. The economy strength in trucks are one of the first segments to come back. So. Uh, we don't look for any additional major disruption with the truck production reports. At this point, uh, the second shift does not seem to be a high probability in that we have a long ways to go in the industry from this 2.3 million level to almost a 4 million level. It's a long road back to that level of truck sales. Ford is counting on attracting buyers by accenting quality. The company says it's improving vehicles through automation and more use of robots on the assembly line. The Norfolk plant now has eight robots with two more in the study stage. Employee involvement is also stressed. There are voluntary meetings every week encouraging workers to get involved in their jobs and help solve problems. Called quality circles, it's an idea borrowed from Japan. And Ford officials admit they're trying to adopt what the Japanese automakers do right while keeping their product distinctly American. In Norfolk, Cynthia Smooth, The Daily News.